Yo, yo, Tank, all right. I got a good one for you here, all right? Uh -huh. It's the best miracle finishes because Thursday night, you know who's playing. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Rogers' Neighborhood. You know it. Yeah. No, oh, that's my one of my favorites ever of all time. And we know he's had his fair share of unreal miracle finishes because he's like dropping Johnny Hail Mary. Yeah. yeah, dropping from the guts. Oh, Aaron Rodgers, I love you so much. <laughs> um, but here we go. I had to make a list, right? Mm -hmm. The top three miracle finishes of all time. Tell me what you think. Number three. It is the Eagles. I'm going with Miracle at the Meadowlands. You remember that debauchery? That got my dad drafted in the first round next year. That's why he's got a little extra incentive for me, okay? <laughs> so that's number three. Number two, we got the Music City Miracle, right? Yeah, well, you, you remember know I know the about that. Yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yes, I Come know you now. know about that. Come on Damn, I forgot all about that. Yeah. And then number one. I'm going with the immaculate reception. Neither one of us were alive, but we know how great the Steelers in the 70s were, and we know what that damn play meant to football and the Steelers itself. All right, so those were my three miracle finishes. You got, uh, got you know, anything you want to add? We're kind of on the same board. I mean, you know I'm the ultimate homer, so I went with the Music City Miracle at first just because I know how passionate those Titans fans were, and it ended up pushing them to the Super Bowl. I mean, it came up one yard short of winning the right. Super Bowl, so I know that was a very important play, especially for the uh, Tennessee Titans. But at number two, I have the catch two. Steve Young, the T.O., at the end of the playoff game. Oh. I mean, come on now. How can you beat that? I mean, that's when T.O. like rose the damn near superstar. I mean, he makes like an unbelievable catch. Steve Young makes an unbelievable throw. I mean, I believe that was almost the end of the 49ers dynasty, too. I mean, so you just look at the significance of that play as well. And I mean, it's hard to argue with that being one of the best miracle plays. That was pretty good. You're right. And I did not have that on my short list. Um, I guess it just wasn't miracle enough for me. I kind of went with like craziness, like total miracle gift from the God type play. Well, plays. if you went with that... gifts from the gods, then how do you leave out the Minneapolis miracle that happened with the Minnesota Vikings? I, I mean, get because it. It there was, is no that was way four. in hell that Stefan Diggs should have been able to catch that ball and then run into the end zone. Like, no I... way. No, I, 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 and that was on, if we had a four-way a four -way list here, that would have been on my list. It and the didn't only make reason it didn't make the top three for it, you, I guess, yeah. and the reason it was number three for me is because they didn't win the Super Bowl. Like, I feel like if it's a miracle, at least finish the deal. Well, yeah, it's a miracle. They didn't finish the deal. And I also just want to go, I mean, that was just dumbness on the Saints defense. <laughs> yeah, so I want to go like, yeah, it was a miracle, <laughs> but it was also a miracle the Saints were so dumb wow. to play it that way. So that's why I did it. But... You know, I, that that one at the Meadowlands, Joe Pasarczyk turning around. I mean, the game's over. It, it's it's 30 seconds left. The Eagles got no timeouts, and he bobbles the handoff. I mean, can we just kneel on the ball? Right. Just kneel on it? <laughs> Call it quits? Instead, they try to give it, like, the reverse, like, you know, fullback veer dive to Larry Zonka, and our man Herm Edwards is the one that picks right. it up. So that was, like, I mean, Philadelphia's got about 10 miracle at the Meadowlands. True. That's what I learned doing this video. Yeah. It's unreal. I almost went with the miracle of the new Meadowlands with Deshaun Jackson picking right. up that one to win the game, too. Yeah, I mean, I think one thing that always stands out to me, even though it wasn't just one play, Brett Favre playing on Monday night after his dad passed away in Oakland, and some of those balls that he threw up to Javon Walker were straight prayers. And I don't know how he came down with those balls, but it's one of those things where sometimes you're just like in the zone. It's like Steph Curry, Klay Thompson shooting three pointers. Like whatever Brett Favre threw up, I mean, it was gonna get caught and it was gonna be a touchdown. And so that always stands out to me, being a Mississippi boy. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. It was like his dad was there guiding the ball right, right into the Packers receiver's <laughs> hands. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. I'll, I'll never forget that night either, Tank. That was a good one. Ah, yes. I love the football gods.